What's going on, guys? Hope you're having a beautiful day. It's Thursday. Let's have an amazing video. Today, I'm talking about two alpha projects. I'm talking about another project to keep your eye out for. A lot of good things coming in. A lot of bad things coming in. I'm joking. It's all good, right? So, I hope you had an amazing day. I hope you've been working hard. I hope you've been just getting your mind cleared and just been having a great time. So, we're going to move this right over here. Generally big. We're also going to move to a couple of projects that I've honestly have came on our radar. And one of them is Tiny Dinos. Now, you're, you're probably thinking, why are you looking at this project? It's dead. The Omni-Chan is dead. Well, it came on my my mind because today I saw news that Little Pudgies is moving to the Omni-Chan. It's moving to the Omni-Chan. That's what I said. It's just that. They're moving to the Omni-Chan. And what I think it could possibly happen is we might see Little Pudgies have a little bit of a run because of this, this news, right? And we'll see this happen. And we could... Just off of speculation, you know, again, buy the rumors, sell the news if you want to go off of that. But we could, off of speculations, see tiny dinos and a bunch of other projects on this chain move because of, you know, because of the little pudgies. So we could little see some movement. I don't expect nothing crazy to happen. If we do look at tiny dinos right now, we can see that at a 0.0064 price. And recently they had a 0.1415, not that long ago, it was January 5th. And we can't see that at... Right now, the list and D list, you know, they're kind of at their lowest points right now. So possibly some movement from here. And if we do look at the thickness of the floor, it is absolutely thin. Just to get to 0.2, it's only 124 entries, which is not crazy. But again, for a part that's not this long, it might be hard to achieve. So it's definitely something I have on my radar. I'm not fully into it yet. I'm still looking around. Maybe something else happens. But again, let's see what happens if we will see something crazy. Or if we just will see, you know, nothing. If we just, you know, nothing happens. So it's all risk, all word. Second project I'm looking at is Toshi's. This one is kind of a quick flip before reveal. But my problem is reveal has still not been confirmed yet by the project. They're saying it's around five to seven days. And I, I'm not a fan of that. Just give us a day. It could cause some FUD. But again, FUD is some of the best times to buy into projects. If we look at Toshi's right now, we can see it's sitting at a point one. 1.6 and my general buy area is, is between 0.15 to 0.16 before we could possibly see this thing make a move all the way to 0.26 so it's nothing crazy but again some quick flips so i'm gonna try to get into it at 0 0.15 0 0.16 if i do feel confident about it and we'll see what happens from there um I, i've been a fan of this project but my only problem seems to be is i think we can wait for some fud to kick in and see people going oh this project's a rug because they haven't announced their min, uh, their reveal date yet and it's delayed this and that there's something wrong so i'm gonna maybe wait for some fud to come in before i entry because i've i've learned that through fud is some of the best times to buy into projects and now finally this is a project i just want to talk about from an award-winning motion graphic designer, a 111 supply with 0% royalties, follow you equals auto whitelist, handpicked collabs only, and organic growth maxi. When Discord, it is unknown. This is a very low-key project. Only 31 people are on the whitelist. 1.8K followers right now, and is only followed by four people I do know. Some good people to look into. But it's it's made by some award-winning graphic motion designer. I do not really know. I'm not sure. Team here, we have three people here. If we just look at their stat sheets, it look nice. It looks cool. But again, if if this is the type of art we're getting, it's nothing against the art, but 3D art, again, at the current moment, 3D art is not a fan favorite. So something to also look into. It's kind of looking good. But again, with a small supply and this fine art meta we're starting to see, this could possibly blow up. So I would try to get whitelist. I'm not 100% sure on how to get whitelist. I'm just pretty sure it's going to be through collabs and other stuff like that. If we do look at the crypto right now, we can see it's pretty much the same as it was checked yesterday. If we do look at blur, we can see that everything is just the same. Board Ape 65 or 63 ETH, Mutant Ape 613 ETH, okay? Porsches, I mean, come on. I, I didn't see this coming. I'm pissed off. I, I mean, I'm just not that guy. I'm just not that guy to be calling out Porsches when it doesn't fully mint out. People saying it's, you know, a lot of market manipulation and stuff like that. I... I mean, for a Web3 brand like this, a Web2 brand to come in like this, mint out not even half of the supply to mint out, and then after go to a 3 ETH floor price is just insane to me. There has to be something going on that we don't know about. Um, Dune, we're kind of seeing, again, a little uptrend continuing to go up from here as we did in our lower lower highs over here at $14 million days. We're still kind of moving up with this, this volume day, which is good to see. That is pretty much it. Nothing else to say. I love y'all so much. Have a good day. Have a good night. God bless you.